Hey guys, it's uh, Josh. I just wanted to go ahead and post a uh, video on the modification of the uh, thermostat from the 195 stant to the 205 degree stant. Uh, what you see in front of you here thermostat wise is the uh, 195 degree stant thermostat for the A4 um, ALH TDI and it might be able to be used for other um, motors as well. I'm not sure on that, but I know this one is for the uh, A4 ALH TDI. And basically, as you can see, it's a it's a dual part thermostat. It's got the um, bypass uh, deal on the back. And so what uh, what you see before you are the tools necessary um, to to remove the back section off of that thermostat. And uh, to the left there, you can see the two um, white brackets. I've just went ahead and ground a little, uh, little area right here. Um, and basically, uh, what that does, I'll tell you in a minute. Um, so you need those. You need to grind a little small area, probably about a quarter of an inch or five sixteenths, little diameter out of the center there. Um, you'll also need a um, quarter by twenty. Uh, bolt, uh, of course the thermostat that you want to uh, disassemble, and uh, a hammer. So basically what you do is you take uh, your thermostat here and you take your uh, modified little brackets with the cutout and what's going to happen is this uh, part right here is going to sit right on the inside of this little bracket and um, that's actually going to help you uh, to uh, remove this top section from the thermostat. What you're going to do is you put one side here and then of course uh, one uh, bracket on the other side and what that's going to do is that's going to hold securely uh, that center uh, copper piece and it's actually going to make this thing rest directly um, up against the stainless steel. It's going to provide a nice support on it so that uh, when you have it all said and done it'll look something like this. Of course with the other one on the other side and there's a hole right here as you can see where my thumbs pointing. It goes directly down to the heat motor and once you have um, both uh, both brackets on there, um, the white brackets on the right and left side fully supporting that stainless steel uh, flat washer, you're going to use that quarter 20 right inside this hole, you're going to stick it down in there and you're going to uh, put the assembly in a vise um, just as uh, as we're seeing right here and uh, we do support it like that. Of course you're going to have uh, two brackets, one on either side and obviously that notch is going to sit right up against that um, that copper piece. Then what you're going to do is, uh, in fact, let me go ahead and do it. Hold on just a second here. Bear with me while I get set up for the demonstration here. Okay, good. We're all set here. Um, so basically from this point what you're going to do is go ahead and put your quarter 20 um, bolt through, uh, through there. You can tell that this is supported uh, fully by those white brackets and what you're going to do is basically put a hand uh, down below or just something soft to catch that thermostat and all you want to do is just give this a uh, just a light tap of a hammer um, and it doesn't take more than a, a few times just a light tap and what's going to happen is those parts are going to separate and then what you're going to see is what you uh, what you're looking for as I drop my bracket. Basically what you're going to do is this part's going to uh, it's going to uh, be removed from the um, thermostat and we'll end up using this piece with our 205 degree thermostat and um, we'll be able to press this back on to the 205 degree thermostat which in fact is the same um, the same dimensions as this 195. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to go ahead and document this on video, and I should be making a video of reassembly uh, probably as well. All right, thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye.